hello all welcome to our channel so in this video we will talk about what is w rule in pcb and why we need that so basically one of the major problems in pcb design is the crosstalk right so we have to eliminate crosstalk as much as possible so that you can have um, a best performance out of your PCB. So what do we mean by crosstalk? Crosstalk is nothing but when there are two signals that are running in parallel. Okay, the electric, basically we know that uh, the signals flowing through these transmission lines or the PCB traces basically um, have electric and magnetic fields around these traces right so the electric field <coughs> that are generated around this one of the trace should not impact the other trace that is running in parallel with that so <coughs> the one which generates uh, uh, electric field and creates problems is called the aggressor and the other one is called the victim so this we know but what should we do to eliminate this scenario? So, the major precaution that we need to take is, it is uh, just a common sense, right? Uh, if we keep this trace away from this particular area, okay, then uh, definitely the electric field impact will be lesser. That's as a simple um, a solution as possible right but how far can you go so you cannot uh, uh, say the pcb layout engineer example if you are a designer you can you cannot tell the pcb layout engineer to keep them away and just leave a open-ended statement right there there are some rules that are defined on how much space is required so while talking about that space also the minimal space required is very very important because uh, that's the starting point from where uh, we can start and if possible have a higher spacing so what is that spacing is example let us assume you have a pcb and on top of it let us assume you have a transmission line which is of width w okay so line let us assume this is a high speed signal the clock signal which can affect uh, your <coughs> other signals um, if it's a high frequency signal basically so now this signal should be placed away from the other signals right so how much is defined by nothing but p into w that means if there is another trace which is at a distance three times the width of this uh, uh, aggressor tra trace then we can reduce the crosstalk between these traces so we are saying reducing right so it's not that it will be completely eliminated but there will be some uh, uh, crosstalk so 3w we are saying 3 into w right but what is 3w is it from here to here or some other that we need to understand right 3w is nothing but it is the distance from center of one trace to the other trace that's how the distance is measured and this is 3w okay so the distance from center of one trace to the other trace so for signals do we follow this for all high speed signals that we talk where the electric field um, could get coupled to other signals should all follow this rule and if you are specifically high speed design engineer working on uh, <coughs> different ports ensure that 3w rule uh, is followed so generally what we do is when we do the routing uh, and uh, we we have the drc defined in the tool uh, to check later whether that 3rc is followed or not right so and one point to remember here not Every signal requires 3W. Example, let us assume I have a, a GPIO from GPIO pin from the processor. Okay, and there is one more GPIO which is uh, like example <coughs> controlling something. 
okay not a type speed just a control and this example let us assume it is going to led so these are uh, very low frequency signals right just a basic control signals which work at very low frequency so these signals need not follow 3w rule because there isn't a aggressor here which can create problems for us so understanding this uh, it is very very important uh, that 3w rule is followed so again now i have uh, two layer boards i have four layer board i have six layer board i have eight layer board i have ten layer example i can go along and uh, uh, read out the list right people work at different board layers so is this rule applicable for all these boards so these uh, needs some <coughs> uh, calculation using the online tools or it is better that it is suggestible that a design engineer does uh, a simulation using the tools and then uh, performing those simulations <coughs> on the pcb such that we see how much uh, um, coupling that is happening and then uh, separate the signals uh, and see that the proper spacing is achieved so this again is a point of uh, simulation here which we need to consider and these uh, rules are must to follow uh, if you are working on high speed designs and ensure that um, we are only talking about um, the controlled impedance stresses here so <clears throat> If the signal if the signal impedances are different and uh, um, again these rules might change, so these all require uh, simulation to be performed and uh, determined. So, if you are uh, planning for a high speed design board or if you are just starting um, with some of the routing on your PCB, uh, just follow you ensure that you have to follow this rule uh, otherwise your PCB might land up um, in trouble so uh, this has something to do with the PCB layout design and uh, uh, it's not with the electrical uh, circuit design basically so that one point uh, we need to remember and ultimately uh, whatever the layer count you you work on ensure that you do a simulation and uh, find out the amount of coupling that is uh, happening so uh, there, there are every chance that in the pcb we put the signals in parallel um, at, a, a, at a smaller level like example there could be a signal like this okay and then there could be a signal going this way so there could be a small fraction of uh, um, parallelism that comes between these traces or it could be a longer distance where routes can be uh, 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 travel so all these scenarios uh, should be considered even though it's a smaller length um, it is better uh, to ensure that all the victims are placed away from the aggressors so uh, a very important rule right so and another important point anything more than 3w will work here so to how much extent i can go you go up to 4w 5w 6w the higher the uh, distance you separate the stress uh, the lower the crosstalk but the important point is ultimately in the current world scenario you see a lot of dense boards and uh, your board might be a dense one which uh, has a requirement to route these signals um, <clears throat> uh, um, and uh, your uh, board form factor also could be very very less so in those scenarios you don't have uh, um, that much uh, pcb space to play around so in those cases we stick to uh, 3w and ensure that uh, we eliminate um, these parallel signals as much as possible so we could give you a glimpse of 3w rule please post your questions um, please like and subscribe our channel thank you